I'm Elias Castillo with EMC Outdoors and today I want to show you how to care for your potatoes and how to grow potatoes. Uh, I've been growing potatoes for about six or seven years now and uh, I have it down to a good method I think. Um, so I'm going to show you what they look like right now and some of the pests that they get during this stage of life in the plant's life. And I want to show you how to get rid of those bugs and how to identify them and easy ways to keep your plants healthy. I think these potatoes will take about another month before they're ready to harvest. Uh, they have been in the ground since the middle of March and right now we are at the end of May so about 45 days I would say. No, sorry. About 60 some days uh, and they take about 90 some days. So yeah. So. We have them here, let me show them to you. These are the potato plants. Um, in the spring, I dug uh, pretty deep into this bed here and I made a trench about, I mean, the, the holes were about a foot, foot deep. And then we put um, some potato seedlings in the ground. I actually bought those. Um, and uh, then I cover them with a little bit of dirt and I have been adding more soil on top of that as the stem grows. So it's very important to keep adding soil to the stems because you get more, more potatoes the more you add soil to the stems. So here I still need to go through and add more soil. So I'll take the soil from this sides here and add it to the stems and it's gonna look like a mound. Um, I have planted some squash in between so I can do two harvests basically. So as soon as I take out the potatoes, the squash are gonna take off in the middle. But unfortunately, we have lost the squash to the slugs. I only found one plant out of maybe eight or so that I had planted in here. Um, and I, I've never had this much problems with slugs before, but they have been a problem for the cucumbers and the squash this year. So uh, maybe it's all the wood chips that I've been throwing in here. So they really like that. But anyways, let me show you what the potato look like looks like right now and some of the pests that it has. So here you can see a little pest that is, I think it's called a color. Colorado beetle and it's eating the leaf you can see it there eating the leaf and not only not only do they eat the leaf they lay eggs underneath the plant and the babies when they're hatched they they just eat all the, the leaves of the potatoes so the potatoes need the leaves in order to produce the tubers which are the potatoes once the beetle lays the eggs you got to make sure you check underneath the leaves uh, and kill the eggs so that it's a little bit easier to control them before they hatch than after they hatch so you want to get to them before they hatch so let me show you uh, the little bug again this is the guy right here doesn't look like much but it sure is a pest and you want to make sure you get rid of all of them. So when you find one on the plant like this, you want to check underneath the leaves because the eggs are usually under. They look orange and you can't mistake them. So I'm going to check and see if I can find some here. And typically where you find one bug, you will find more. So. So this little guy, I'm just going to crush it with my foot and he's going to be dispatched really quickly. But you want to make sure you get rid of it because it will destroy your potato plants. I only found three of them today, which is great because in the last week or so I've been finding at least one or two per plant and in the entire row now I've only found three. So that means that I've done a pretty good job of keeping up with them. Just by noticing and watching the plants really closely. And uh, obviously this is gonna be easier if your garden is smaller, but if, if you're growing this in uh, 
acres and acres of potatoes obviously you won't be able to do this um, kind of spot check but if you can keep up with them uh, on a daily or every other day basis you, you're gonna be all right uh, I haven't found today any of the eggs uh, which tells me those bugs just got here uh, today um, so uh, I'm pretty thankful about that so I'm going to show you what the leaf dam damage looks like and how you can uh, determine that you have a you have a problem with them um, typically you'll see this type of leaf like this it's going to be eaten and they like to come and eat from the edge in so you'll find that and also you'll find their droppings their dark spots um, on there so uh, they're pretty easy to uh, spot once once you see uh, pieces like this where they have been eaten you can make make sure that you're checking underneath the leaves so typically you'll find the eggs right under here and they look uh, orange so they're very easy to identify and once you see it just take your hand and rub them off that's the easiest way to get rid of them uh, so yeah these are looking pretty good um, and uh, I think this year is gonna be a pretty good year for potato harvest I think out of this place right here we might get maybe 20 pounds and uh, yeah I, grew, I love growing potatoes they're pretty simple um, to grow the only issue I have with them is that beetle cough Colorado beetle so if you can keep up with those early on it's easy to get rid of them but if you don't take care of them um, early on when they first show up then it's a real problem so I recommend you try to check them out take try to check out the potatoes every other day make sure they're not there and if they are just hand pick them and it, that you'll be glad you did Thank you guys for watching this video uh, this one's a short one today uh, let me know what other things you're interested about learning about gardening um, this is my ninth year gardening here at the community plot uh, and uh, yeah I've I've developed some easy methods of growing vegetables and I don't want to say I'm a lazy gardener but uh, I like to do easy work I don't like working super hard on the garden so uh, doing wood chips, doing mulch, and adding compost to the to the garden really seems to help. And I typically don't spend a ton of money in the garden. I plant the potato seeds and I buy seeds and just a few um, starter plants and it typically does well. So let me know what you want to learn about the garden and what are the vegetables you're growing. And thank you much. Thank you so much for watching the videos and please give them a thumbs up if you like it and make sure you subscribe. Thanks.